Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good stretch. Good morning. Did we have a good sleep? Morning, you guys, and welcome to our morning routine. Woo. Our adapted morning routine. <laughs> yeah. Since it is almost nine o'clock. Our core and routine. That didn't really roll off the tongue because <laughs> you were hoping it would. <laughs> I just made some food, but it is time to take Clayton on a walk. Why is it only focusing on you and not me? There we go. <laughs> I know, hello? I'm a real person too. Anyways, are you ready for a walk? <laughs> okay, let's go on a walk, shall we? I'm coming too. Sing, oh what a beautiful morning. Oh what a beautiful day. It's such a nice morning. Yeah. About two weeks ago, we had a really intense heat wave. Oof, it felt like the heat of the heat of summer, the high of summer, the height. what's the height? That's the one. <laughs> the height of summer. Because our apartment doesn't have AC, which a lot of apartments in Southern California, I feel like, don't have AC. Since then, it has cooled down into like nice 70 degree weather, mid 70s. You know, the perfect. The mornings have been just so beautiful. Oh, it's potty time. This is the potty dance. Reep. Meep. <laughs> Gotta censor it. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I'm ranting about the weather. All that to say, comment down below what your favorite type of weather in the spring is. Are you the person that likes that it's still like kind of cold and dreary? Or do you like the hint of summer? Comment down below and let us know. We like this weather, which is why we live in Southern California. I also like the rain. Would you really like to live somewhere that it rains all the time? Really? Because I like the greenery. It's green here, look at that. Good boy, you wanna run? Go, go, go! Oh, you want that? That's the world's biggest dick. Come on! <laughs> he wants you to chase him. Oh! <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> You want that stick? That's a pretty big one. Can you get it? Can you carry it? Oh! It's okay. Try again. Oh, dog spotted. No longer interested in stick. Back from our walk. We don't do this every morning, but this morning we have a little bit of time before we have to start work. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. Josh is gonna vacuum, I'm gonna dust. Just a real quick 15 minute clean. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Guys, this vacuum. We bought this when we first got married. How cheap was it? 30 bucks. It was so inexpensive, but it's trash. Like it overheats in two seconds. We really need a new one. We love the Dyson, but we don't wanna pay $600 for a vacuum, so. If anyone has good vacuum recommendations, we would love a cordless one. All right.
feels much better. I swear our apartment gets so dirty so quickly. Our dog's not supposed to shed and yet we have hair everywhere. <laughs> our carpet is this ugly like speckled stuff. We're in a super old apartment so obviously the carpet is very old. It just shows everything so we have to really be on top of it but it feels good to be in a much cleaner space and that took 20 minutes. I feel like my allergies have been <laughs> going haywire lately because it's spring. All the smells. We keep our windows open a lot to let some fresh air in since we don't have AC so <laughs> I'm always smelling the flowers which is great until I start sneezing. So again that's why we clean. <laughs> what are you working on? I have a TA session today so I'm about to start that. Hoo-hoo! About to review some risk management. Do you love dad? <laughs> Ew. So Josh is gonna teach for the next hour and I'm gonna go upstairs and get some of my work done. Do you guys sound good? Do you wanna come upstairs with mom? So you don't bother dad? He is very happy in the mornings. We love mornings! Yeah! Do you wanna go pick out a toy to bring upstairs? Go get a toy! Check in soon. <laughs> okay, Josh just finished teaching and we just came out onto our back patio because we need to water our plants. An avocado tree that is just going so well. This whole chunk from here to here has grown in the last like two weeks. So that's really exciting. My fiddle leaf has some new leaves. This plant, I'm not really sure what it's called, but I love it and it is thriving lately too. It's grown so much. This little plant we inherited from a friend. Lots of little leaves though, huh? Yeah, it's got too many. Whoa, there's a creepy bug. Yeah. Oh, that thing's nasty. It's bigger than my hand. It's crazy. Those are our four normal kind of, well, I guess these are just plants and then we have a tree. This is a lemon tree. We did not plant this, but it's just here. This used to be a pepper plant. As you can see, there are some peppers on it, but all of the leaves died. It's not growing because it's getting no nutrients. Yeah, you know how the leaves died? Frickin' snails. They ate all my leaves and I hate them. I tried everything I could to save it. He did. He put coffee grounds in there. I sprayed it with some Dr. Bronner's mm -hmm. soap. If you put a little Dr. Bronner's in some water, you can spray it in that helps like keep bugs off and stuff. We will talk more about that in just a moment. But we think that they were living in the pot because we never saw them. We just kept seeing holes. And we would see the snail slime trails across the Yeah, deep. gross. <gasps> Tell them what you saw yesterday out here. I saw this thing go and like shoot across and then go into that corner. And I was like, oh, there must be like a little mouse or a rat that ran across. And then as I was coming back inside, I looked in the corner and there was a tiny rabbit just sitting there. Just like, a tiny bunny. I took a picture of it. You could insert it. So that was pretty fun. Over here are other two plants. These used to be tomato plants. <laughs> this one is still producing a little. You can see some tomatoes on here. We've gotten a couple off of here that Josh has been able to eat. But again, most of these leaves have died off. We had a snail and other little like whatever insect, insect. oh josh you just dumped that on me <laughs> look at this one this one just we think something's wrong with the soil in this pot it just dries up so quickly we have two little tomatoes on here Can you... but tell them what happened here so i was reading online that you could put dr bronner's in a little spray bottle a little bit of dr bronner's and water and then you spray it and it kills all the insects. What I think happened, because I sprayed it, and then all the leaves started dying, and I was like, what the crap? I saw another website that was like, if you do this, be careful, because if you put in too much Dr. Bronner's, you'll burn off all the leaves. And I'm like, well, great. First website did not tell me that. <laughs> so so we were spritzing them with normal water then after that, trying to like get some life back in them, but it's just not going well. We're not good at gardening, guys. Yeah, all the normal leaves. plants We've are doing great. Well. But all of our, besides the avocado tree, all of our fruit slash veggie plants. Mm -mm. Oh, that's another thing. We almost got a tomato off this plant and then this like caterpillar. Yeah, giant caterpillar. And then it tried to fight Josh. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Agnes is trying to open the door behind you. Good. <laughs> so Agnes is basically an indoor cat, but every day we try to give her a few minutes outside. She, she doesn't go far. She just kind of wanders around right here. But she loves her outdoor time because she likes chewing on grass. She feels adventurous. You may notice a lot of lumber to my left. I'm about to start a big woodworking project. So make sure you're subscribed if yeah. you're interested. Yeah, this is the most lumber I've ever bought. 
Comment down below if you can guess what yeah, he's going to build. What I'm gonna build. These plywood are for a different project, but the one I'm about to work on is these two sheets of plywood and all of these one by fours. Hmm, what Makes could it be? I'm super pumped. So I actually just finished making my breakfast. It's 11.30, but I just started doing intermittent fasting. So I only eat in like an eight hour window. So I eat from 11.30 to 7.30. We'll see how it goes. I've only been doing it for a few weeks. I'll show you my breakfast. I made a nice little bagel breakfast sandwich. It's got some egg, bacon, and cheese on it and some hot sauce. Muy bien, if you ask me. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for our morning routine today. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see what project Josh has got coming up. Hey. He is very excited <laughs> to start working on that this weekend. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for us. You're great, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Your face is too wide. As he fully circles me. I don't know. Oh, runner. It's green. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. Me too. Oh. That was a bug. <laughs> so, um, 